is not for movement of humans. Today, before wrapping my boat up for the winter and getting ready to winterize it, I uh, found that when I went to pull it out of the water, I needed to install a new winch. And there's the new winch right there. And I wish I had started this video earlier before I had taken off the old winch. I didn't think about doing a video of this until I had put the new winch on. And so I just wanted to go back through the steps that I took to do this. It's a very easy project. This is my old winch. It was a power winch. Uh, so what you had to do is you had to hook it up to a uh, car battery supply, which plugged in here. And then you had this cable that ran all the way over to your car which you hooked onto the battery terminals and uh, switched it and it just it, it quit working and it as you can see it was really old so I bought a new winch that uh, is mechanical so therefore I never have to worry about any uh, power issues and also I bought one that was rated for the same pound capacity as this old winch that I took off. The old winch had several spots where it could be bolted to this particular one was bolted right here and right here I believe and so there was only two, two bolts holding it down and it had where you had to use the two wrenches because you had to get one from above and one from below and uh, the new one has those bolts that are uh, round topped with like square fittings and they fit into slots under underneath of there I saw that information on the full instructions before I did it it came with a very brief manual written in about seven different languages that explains how to assemble things, how to uh, thread the strap through there, and uh, where the, uh, the, the nuts and the bolts work. Uh, it was pretty straightforward, uh, self-explanatory as well whenever I started working on it. Uh, Here's the underside view of the new winch mounted down to the bracket. This hole here was used by the old winch. The old winch only bolted into two locations. This one bolts into three locations. It came with these, uh, these lock uh, nuts and, and came with the studded bolts that have a uh, cap on them so that they, you don't have to have a wrench on the top side. So they fit in the existing holes. These didn't line up exactly and my holes in my bracket were perfectly round. They weren't slotted holes. The, my new winch though did have slotted holes so that these could move around but they still didn't quite line up. I had to kind of uh, get them finger tight tightened, wiggle it around a little bit to get them all to come in correctly. Here's what it looks like all installed on the trailer. As you can see I have my uh, strap on here hooked to the boat and whenever it's the boat's all the way up you don't want to have tension on your strap and you can see it's mounted to the mounting bracket it doesn't move or wiggle that's the whole entire bracket moving there and I put the handle on this side the handle is adjustable four different positions When mounting the new winch, you want to make sure that you're running your cable or strap, as in the case of this one, through above this bracket and underneath of your, your bow uh, roller here. So that way it hooks into the appropriate place. Uh, so you feed that through there whenever you're, you're putting this strap on here. I purchased the Fulton F2. Uh, for a couple of different reasons. I had watched some YouTube videos uh, and looked at some different winch options. Also, there were not a lot readily available in the store whenever I needed to get one. Uh, so I watched some videos on this. It looked cool. Uh, it's actually, it's, it's a pretty, pretty uh, sleek looking design. Looks better than just one of those open winches. And uh, hopefully, because it costs more money, hopefully it lasts, uh, lasts a lot longer. It is nice and reliable. But it's got a very cool adjustable handle on it, and the casing, which is alum cast aluminum and plastic, uh, looks nice, and 
apparently there's two speeds here which I haven't figured out how to use because I've only operated it essentially one time. If you notice it says, not for movement of humans. That's nice. So it has a lever right here, which <clears throat> this is for cranking it in. And then there's a neutral spot which allows the cable to just slack on out. And then this is for cranking it out. What's interesting is if you have it in the cranking in position and you've got it cranked up really tight, you can't easily move it into neutral. So you have to actually use both hands and kind of release the pressure on this a little bit and then you can pull that out. Here's the old hardware from the, the old uh, winch. What was really nice for me was that the old hardware, as you can see, was not all corroded uh, or possible to get off. Uh, obviously, once again, I wish I had shot a video while I was removing it, but it was only these two bolts. This was uh, three quarters, this was nine sixteenths. So you know, I was able to do everything with just some wrenches, hand tools. I also had some uh, sockets uh, to be able to, uh, to use. I used a deep socket, I think, on the, on the bottom of this one. And, um, but th these were not corroded. So once I had the cable off of the boat, and so the winch was just there on its own, I was able to uh, work these bolts loose by holding a wrench at the top, using a socket on the bottom, giving a little bit of pressure to them. Take these two bolts out. Once these two bolts were taken out for their washers, and this one had a washer and then a lock washer, um, the winch just pulled right off. And so the new one, which had those studded bolts, uh, which are round on the top square that fit into slots, as I showed in the manual. Once I had those set in there and lined it up and dropped it in, it was just a matter of tightening bolts up. This project literally took under an hour to uh, remove the old winch and put the new one on and get everything all set up and tightened up and secured. And uh, it was a very easy project. You could certainly tackle it yourself. You don't have to necessarily buy the same kind of winch that I have if you're replacing a, a mechanical winch with a power winch, uh, etc. Um, it, was, it was an easy project. I actually now have it covered in plastic because as part of my putting my boat away for the winter, uh, I figure it can't hurt to uh, have a plastic bag over here. I actually have it tied off like this, secured around here. And also I can still reach in just to make sure that the strap is, is slack and that the tension on the boat is held with this rope rather than on the strap uh, while I'm storing it this winter. Uh, I'll be posting other videos as I do other work on my boat, uh, winterizing, uh, working on some things because I'm learning a lot about boats, learning a lot about uh, the things that need to be done, and this is uh, just my first video uh, attempt at this. So I hope it was helpful for you and that you're not afraid to tackle replacing a winch by yourself. Thanks for watching.